Basically, we are almost completely poured out with all of our slabs. Um, there's a lot of vertical work happening. Behind me, you'll see a lot of the masonry is up. Um, we're starting with some of the steel supports and on the back side, um, we've got a lot of our steel erecting for the tallest part of our building. And this is the stage where you, you actually visually see the most progress because it is going vertical and so you're watching all the walls go up. We're at um, about 1,000 at 20 right now and I expect that by the time we hit day one we'll be close to 1,030 and the building is built for 1,000. So we have run out of classrooms. We cannot wait to be in a, in a building that fits us. And that not only fits us, but fits our technology and our aspirations for our curriculum and we're ready to take it to the next level. Working with the existing campus, it adds a whole other layer of complexity, especially with utility tie-ins where we have to shut down the school's water or shut down the school's power. You know, so it just takes a lot more, another level of uh, coordination. Another challenge is the supply this year with COVID and all the uh, issues with the supply chain. We lost about four and a half weeks on our steel. The steel was ready, but we couldn't get a train car, a rail car to bring it across the U.S. to, to get to the job sites. We're trying to make it a unique experience and to turn it into like an educational piece and, and get them engaged and excited about the project and more for us, really, personally, we need people in the trade. So if we can inspire some of these kids to actually go into construction or into engineering or architecture or any part of you know, what we go through to build these projects, we need people. We're building it you know, right behind the um, existing O'Brien Middle School. And so students are able to watch it. And, and it's really a better community feel because it's right next to each other they can look at their, uh, the back window and see this beautiful project happening and they can know that you know our struggles this year are going to be temporary but they can also build this year from a curriculum standpoint um, and invite students into what the future of the school is going to be.